Hi everyone, this is Sammy Diamond from SharePoint Wizard. In this episode, I'd like to show you two new features in Microsoft Teams uh, related to emojis. So I'm now in a team chat in a general um, channel and I will write a reply, hello, and I will uh, just post it. Now I can hover and see that I can give some uh, default uh, emoji so I can give a like or a heart or a laugh or surprise so let's give a like okay but what if I want to change the default here so what I can do is actually go to this uh, plus more reactions and actually I can choose from all of these uh, possible things based on the categories but what if I want to set a uh, default different uh, emojis? So I can go here to custom emojis. And you see that I have uh, the yes and the heart and the laugh and surprise. For each of one of them, I can remove them. And what I can do is actually when I click on the plus, I can add uh, existing ones. So let's say I want 100% and I want also the Clippy. This one I will remove and I will add here, for instance, a life verb. And I want this checkbox. And the last one is the plus. I will save it. And if, if you look now, actually the default that we set is here. Of course, you can add anything you want, but you can set it and then you can use only the ones that you customized. Now, I'm assuming it's only for user does it and it's not the default for the whole uh, tenant and all users. <clears throat> the second feature that I would like to show you is actually that uh, if we come here and we click on this um, uh, and more reactions. Now we have in all of the categories, the last category is your organization emojis. So now actually you see I added a wizard that I added by myself. So I will click on customize add emoji and let's choose an image that I want to put for the whole organization and this is probably this SharePoint icon. It will show you me a preview of how it will look. And I need to actually give a name. As you can see, if I put uh, capitals, it, it tells me it's not possible. So it needs to be lowercase and it cannot obtain um, special characters or spaces. And if the emoji already name is taken then you cannot do that so i'll leave it like that in small low case i click add emoji and now actually it should add it and you see i have it here so i can add this uh actually the new emoji that i added to the organization now i'm not sure if everyone can do it or maybe because this user is um, has uh, powerful uh, permissions. Um, we need to check also, I'll check how you can prevent it, maybe from the admin center. But this is this is to avoid, you know, people adding uh, images that are not approved by the organization. But in general, this is a, a good thing. So as, as you saw, I could put this reaction, I can add and change the default ones and actually I can choose also from the ones of the organization. So this one I will put the wizard and this is actually the wizard reaction. This is what I wanted to show you. If you like my channel subscribe and see you in the next episode. Goodbye.